Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we go over the global bypass button inside Studio One. In a recent series of live streams I was doing, I was showing how you can use stock plugins, which don't get a lot of love, but you can still use them to create a really awesome mix. I'll put a link to that series of videos in the description of this one, but really what I'm gonna talk about is being able to compare where you're going with your mix from where you were. Now, that's not so much as just undoing what you just did, but really comparing to what you started with. So. Let's dive into the DAW and take a look at what I'm talking about. So here we are inside of our session, and I've used this one before. Uh, if you watched my references video and how to mix with references, this is the same track. But we're not gonna talk about using reference mixes in this one. We're gonna talk about how to double check where you are in your current mix by just turning everything off. What I mean is I wanna turn all of my plugins and sends off to compare where I started to where I am now. So in this session, you can see that I have a bunch of things going on on all my tracks. All of my plugins, minus a couple here and there, are on and doing stuff. I don't really need to go into what any of these are doing because I wanna show you how we can go ahead and bypass all of them with one click. And there's nothing that you have to make. You don't have to make a macro to do this, although you can if you want it to be a keyboard shortcut, but there's only one button that we need to hit. I'm sure everyone already knows if you wanna turn off everything that's on a bus or a channel, next to where it says inserts, you can hit the power button and it will turn everything off on that channel. Let's say I wanted to do this on a bunch of channels. I could just shift click all these channels and turn off my inserts but my sends are all still going. So everything going to my reverbs in this case are going to sound different, but still have that reverb sound. If I wanna bypass everything, my inserts and my sends, there's one button I need to hit, and that's here. When I have my mixer open and stretched up the way it is, it's next to the global mute and solo buttons. And that's this button right here, activate all inserts. If you don't have your mixer open, it will still be available at the bottom of your arranger window. When I hit this button, all of my plugins and all of my sends turn off. So now I can very quickly and easily listen to where I started with just my pans and balances, and then I can easily turn everything back on to the state it was. Look at my lead vocal bus right here. It has a pro EQ that is off and a fat channel that's off. When I hit the activate all, it turns that middle fat channel off and all of my sends. And when I turn it back on, only the fat channel that was getting used turns back on. It recovers you to the state where you just were. Having a handy feature like this will very quickly and easily give you perspective of where you are in your mix and see if you're getting to the end goal of the right mix for this song. Being able to quickly turn everything off and see where you absolutely started versus where you are now is huge. It's going to really help you make sure that you're making the correct and right moves to get the mix where you need it to be for that song. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. For more, visit timflansbaum.com. And if you have a question, ask it in the comments and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.